<clears throat> shalom, shalom, all praise and glory and honor goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash, Shalom, Labakarium, Shaw, Yasharala. <clears throat> Early morning plantation, you know how it is. Um, another day in Babylon, you know. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the whole elect out there and the elect lady. Once again, this is only for the house of mourning <clears throat> and the house of faith. The true believers that are sincere and truly believe in the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. And as you know, those that are in the know, you know, we are at the end of an age. <clears throat> <clears throat> we are at the end of a man's kingdom, which is Esau. And as the scripture says, second as the six and nine, that Jacob is the one that followeth after him. So the Israelites start with our Lord Yahweh Shai with inherit the earth. As the scripture said in Second Peter's, we're gonna get these scriptures. You know, we're looking forward towards a new heavens and a new earth, a new kingdom. And ultimately, the earth itself, where righteousness dwelleth, righteousness, man. And finally, that's where we're going. May the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh have mercy on us. But as the scripture says, the meek shall inherit the earth, man. And those are the Israelites. All right. This is more of exhortation, a faith booster to keep brothers' uh, spirit, you know, excited. You know, because that's where we're heading. We're finally going to rule. And there's no thought. As we still live in this flesh, there's no thought that we can understand. Can we imagine and comprehend how the kingdom is going to be set up? But we know it's going to be beautified. All right. The scriptures said the Lord said he's going to beautify uh, 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 the earth. All right. It's going to stretch it out. It's going to be beautiful, man. But we shall inherit. The kingdom is coming. And finally, man, after thousands and thousands and thousands of years of captivity, you know, being broken down, being uh, enslaved by these heathens, being looked down at, ridiculed, discriminated, spit on, stomped on, oh, Jacob, that worm, you know, now we're going to be lifted up, exalted. And given the planet Earth, man, the whole Earth, call all you how about shoot me out shot. That's where we're headed, man. All right. Let me go to uh, Psalms twenty-five. All right, and I'm gonna start um, at verse eleven. <clears throat> For thy name's sake, see the name keeps coming up because the name is in the scriptures over seven thousand times. So when you hear these other groups talking about we don't have the name and all of that, that's a goddamn lot, man. We've been given a name. How in the hell is the Heavenly Father going to reveal this truth to us, right? And not give us his name. It just doesn't sound right. For thy name's sake, O Lord Yahweh, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. And that throws out the whole free will thing. We have no free will. As the prophet Jeremiah echoed in his same sentiment, in the same sense. You know, he said, the Lord directs our steps. How can a man know his own way? Man's going is of the Lord. All right. So it's the Lord that chooses our path. All right. And we're praying and hoping that we're in the right path because we believe through faith we are. You know, we've been guided. We've been taught this, uh, uh, you know, this truth by our apostles and elders. And ultimately, the spirit of truth has been guiding us. So as the scriptures say, him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. See, uh, there's a scripture uh, with us that... Um, um, what is it? I think it's Psalms um, uh, 89, maybe, which says the Lord um, uh, blesses the man that you choose to approach his gates. Let's get that real quick. <clears throat> blesses the man. 
I got him on bless. Yep. Psalm 65 and 4. All right. Had a fat. Let me see. Um, I had to come back. Let's 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 get this. <clears throat> All right. And um, we're we're highly blessed by just having these. Um, this truth being revealed, given an eye salve in these last days, because as as the scripture said, Isaiah 61, the world itself is in full Your darkness, phone is now gross running darkness. at optimal speed. And the people and the people are 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 walking in darkness. So to have this light is a is a beauty, man. It is a gift. It's more precious than um than gold. As the scripture said in Proverbs chapter 3. So let's get this real quick. Psalm 65. All right. Let me highlight this. Bless is the man whom thou choosest. See? And causes to approach unto thee. That he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house. Even of thy holy temple. And as you know, the house of David, the Bayaf that would die, is being built. It's being raised up. As the prophet Amos said, raise up the ruins of like, as of old, but now the spiritual temple is being raised right now. All the sincere brothers that are part of the elect. Okay, you're you're each a, a building block, a stone that's building that spiritual temple, man. The Bayaf that would die. So let's go back to uh, Psalms 25. Now we understand when it says, um, him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. Okay? No free will. We've been guided, brothers. We've been given the eyes of and the Holy Spirit has been guiding us to the end. To the end. To overcome Jacob's trouble. Be delivered. Be sent powers from up from the heavens. And ultimately to be saved and beamed up into that chariot. To be exempt from the destruction. That is the path that the Heavenly Father has set up for us. Call on Yahweh Verse 13. His soul shall dwell at ease. And his seed shall inherit the earth. What seed is this? The Israelites, brothers. This is a, this, his seed shall inherit the earth. All right, let's get that real quick first. First Chronicles 16 and 11. Seek the Lord Yahweh and his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember his marvelous works that he had done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. Let's read this one more time. O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. So that is the seed. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed, the Israelites, shall inherit the earth. Okay? We've been given that. From the beginning, this earth was given to our Lord, Yahweh Shai, as Adam. And we understand the story. Adam fell, we all fell. But now, through the second Adam, read Romans chapter 5, it tells you the second Adam, whose figure is to come, Yahweh Shai, right? He was set his throne, as, a, as, as the prophecy said, that the throne of David shall live forevermore, man. And that would be our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And the elect inheriting the planet earth itself the seed of israel all right and that's powerful in itself man let's get um got one more somewhere i got two more scriptures and i'm gonna end it through the spirit no i'm gonna get keep that one last psalms 105 and verse 8 he had remembered his covenant forever the word which he commanded to a thousand generations which covenant he made with abraham and his oath unto Isaac and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying unto thee, 
will I give the land of Canaan the lot of your inheritance. All right. So Jerusalem, as the scripture said, from Mount Zion, the law should be issued out. Jerusalem is going to be headquarters. The Lord is going to super beautify Jerusalem, man. The earth itself is going to be refreshed and renewed. All right. But Jerusalem, ooh, -wee. but we've been, this is the oath. This is the covenant that the heavenly father has never broken. All right. The earth is ours. The kingdom is coming. All right. And um, second edge of six, I'm going to start at 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. All right. Of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen, right? Got all the nations. But who did the Lord chose? Well, we read it earlier. First Chronicles 16. O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. Who is his chosen? And the people also whom thou hast chosen, the Israelites, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. See, the earth is going to be inherited. It's going to be owned by Yahweh Shai and the elect, the Israelites, as kings and priests on the planet earth in righteousness. This is the blueprint. This is the testimony that was given to us from the heavens way before anything even have a breath in them. All right. Verse 56, as for the other people who the nations, the heathens, you Edomites, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. See, the Lord never cared for the nations like that. All right. They were created to be our servants from the beginning. All right. That's it. And now we're about to inherit that. We're about to inherit the nations. All right. Psalms 2, you know, Micah 4, you know, uh, Isaiah 60, Isaiah 61, you know, verse 57. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. But why? Because we sin, we disobey. Scripture talks about that in the book of Judith, talks about that in the book of Deuteronomy. You know, when we disobey, the Lord punished us. And the Lord has always used other nations, you know, to, to, um, to put us in slavery. You know, to bring upon the judgment on us, man. But see, we at the end of that. We at the end of our, our punishment and we at the beginning of this man's fall. All right, 58. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. If the world now be made for our sake, see, going back to the world, see, the world was made for us. Why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long should this endure? All right? And he had questions. Ezra had questions. But see, now Ezra is about to, uh, uh, if he's here now, you know, maybe he is, because the scripture says in 2 Ezra 15, that he saw, he saw Jacob's trouble. He was in it. And he said, woe is me, woe is me, who should save, who should deliver me in those days? So Ezra, Ezra may be here. It could be one of the brothers, could be one of the apostles, could be one of the, the bishops, the elders. We don't know who, who it is. But now, Ezra and all the prophets, now the kingdom has come. Now you're going to be awakened if you awake from the spirit world. And to the chariot, now you're about to get your reward. Now as the kingdom has drawn nigh. The scriptures say, draw nigh to the look of your redemption. Draw if nigh, man. We at that time. We in that time. We in the time. At the end of this devil's age. His kingdom is Eon. And the meek, 
the meek, the humble, the Israelites, his chosen ones, will inherit the planet Earth and yet beautified through the Spirit. Rule it in righteousness. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, Shalom, Labakarium, Shaw, Yasharala, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Nathan Layaha, Kasayam Shah, Dawada, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Shema, Yasharala, Yahawa, Allah Hayan, our Yahawa, a cur. Shema, Yasharala, Yahawa, Allah Hayan, our Yahawa, a cur. Shema, Yasharala, Yahawa, Allah Hayan, our Yahawa, a cur. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shout out warm to the whole elect out there and the elect lady. <clears throat> Again, this is only for the house of mourning and for the house of faith. The true believers that tr truly, sincerely believe in the testimonies of Yahweh Shai, which is the, the spirit of prophecy. Call on Yahweh Shai. Shout out warm.